the idea that words could change the world and the fact that Winston, one of the greatest leaders of the 20th century, if not of all time, was able to mobilize the English language in a way that would change the world. And I guess that was the, the primary kind of interest for me. And also this idea of taking such an iconic figure who is so venerated and bringing him down off the plinth and meeting him as a human being for all his flaws and great attributes. We are looking at the collapse of Western Europe in the next few days. You ask what is our aim? Victory at all costs. Well, I've been lucky to have sat in three chairs, um, Downing Street, um, the War Room, and then most recently um, a chair that he sat in on the Queen Mary. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the one in the war room, he was not obviously there, you know, f for five years, you know, during the war. But um, uh, on the on the left hand side, on the arm, there are these sort of uh, indentations, uh, uh, like divots in the in the in the wood from his nails. And then on the on the right hand side here is uh, scratches from the from the the ring that, that he that he wore, and that was uh, it, it was telling because it's it's mood, psychology, a behaviour that is now in this furniture. Is it true we're in full retreat? All our forces are now in Dunkirk where we cannot reach them. They're pushing us into the sea. You kind of have to metabolize this information in a way. The footage, the books, you know, you take this stuff and then you have to kind of metabolize it through your own particular lens. There is a question of peace talks between ourselves and Germany. Europe is still... Europe is lost. I think the moment for me where I thought mm, this, this could this, this could work was the camera test, and I think something happened there. Was it that I, late? It, I mean, that's like a week before filming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when will the lesson be learned? You cannot reason with a tiger when your head is in its mouth. I would go through days when I was feeling good and felt that I was getting somewhere. And then there would be times when I want to call Joe and say, I, I, I can't do this. It's, this is, you know, I'm not, I'm not your man. I take full responsibility. Really? Really, yes, sir. It is the reason I sit in this chair. I've been trying to see the audience here, which and, and, and what I can see is an incredibly young audience, hmm. um, uh, especially kind of compared to the sort of audiences that we might get in America and so on. Um, uh, and, that, and that really excites me uh, because I think the, the, um, this film, you know, we've said that this film is about um, words and we've said it's about doubt, uh, but it's also about standing up for something you believe in and fighting for something that you believe in. And I think that's um, certainly as much of the task of the younger generations as it is the older, if not more so. And so it's really gratifying to see so many young people in the audience tonight. And thank you very much for coming. For without victory, there can be no survival. Yeah.